friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day 22 of Vlogmas. So yesterday I did a favorite items of book boxes from 2019 and today I'm doing the opposite. I'm doing the unhaul of all of the things that I am no longer keeping from a book box. And there may be opportunities to win these in the future, um, so stay tuned for that, especially as that subscriber number get, grows closer to 500. I'm super excited. It's really not about the subscriber count for me. I just thought 500 would be a good one to celebrate with. But honestly, if I don't reach 500, I'm still going to do a giveaway by the end of the year, so definitely stay tuned. And let's just jump right on in. There is no rhyme or reason to this. I just kind of threw things into a large tub. And we're gonna go through it all and it's huge so yeah so the first item is a reusable hand warmer inspired by sky in the deep and this is pretty cool it says the Viking war cry on it it says breathe fire the way you use it is you kind of snap this metal thing down in here and then it like crystallizes and gets up to 120 degrees, I think it said. And then slide it down in here, obviously, to keep yourself safe. And then to recharge it, you just boil it. So it's a pretty cool item. But as with all these items, I just don't ever see myself using them. So, yeah. Next is this The Secret Life of Marilyn Monroe by... J. Randy Tara Borelli, and you will probably see quite a few Marilyn Monroe books in this pile here just because I do want to unhaul my Marilyn Monroe collection. So instead of going through all of them, I'm just gonna call this my entire Marilyn Monroe collection. So yeah. Next and pretty exciting, a lot of these items are actually really cool, I just have no use for them, and that is Hermione's Beaded Bag. It's a replica from the Lit Joy Magical Edition Year 7.1. I just have no use for it, I don't know how to decorate it or anything, and it really isn't that exciting to me, so someone will be receiving this. Next is this scarf inspired by the Darkling from Shadow and Bone very very pretty it's a gorgeous purple it's just not my style so yeah next are these magnetic bookmarks inspired by the saga graphic novel series i don't know these characters names but i know it's like a romeo and juliet kind of inspired movie not movie story in space i think and like aliens and monsters i don't really know but yeah next is just an art card of a graveyard. Not really much else to say about that. Then is a reading journal for January through December of 2020. This came from Fairy Loot. It's a really nice journal. We've got room for favorite quotes. We've got month at a glance, random thoughts, books I read. Yeah, it's really pretty. It got lots of uh, art in it and there's also reading challenges in the front. Next is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, the first one, and it's got the movie cover cover, so yeah. Next is another reading journal, also from, oh, this one's from Faye Crate, and it's got Monday through Saturday or whatever day. Um, it's got goals, new releases, just a page for notes, all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. And then... To be read. Next is this really nice quality Dracula book sleeve and it has a zipper. Very nice. If I liked Dracula I would definitely be keeping this. Next is this pillowcase. Um, I think it's inspired by Five Dark Fates if I'm correct or the Three Dark Crown series. No matter how far I go I'm still your person. Yeah I don't know I don't remember what this is inspired by, but it's a really pretty blue, and I really like the colors of it, but I don't know. Next is this poin, poin, coin pouch. It says, when in doubt, bravado, always bravado. Next is The Female of the Species by Mindy McGinnis. I actually really enjoyed this book. I just don't ever see myself picking it up again, and I preferred it as an audiobook, so if I ever do pick it up again, I'll get it audiobook-wise. So there's that book. Next is these skull uh, fingerless gloves and definitely not my style so they will be going to a good home in the future. Tapestry 
and I know this one is inspired by Three Dark Crowns. It's Three Dark Queens are born in a glen, sweet little triplets, never friends. Three Dark Sisters, all fair to be seen, two to devour and one to be queen. All of these things are like good quality and nice items, they're just not something I need right now. Next is this Alcrate coloring book and colored pencil set. And the Alcrate coloring book is actually the enamel pens of each month of 2019. Next is this Merciful Crow. One way or another, we always feed the crows. That's what it says on this side. And then this side is just the book cover and it's a pencil pouch. This is just this little crocheted coaster. And then a Hunger Games inspired coin pouch. It says, May the odds be ever in your favor. And again, just a little coin patch. Next is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I loved this book when I was younger, but I reread it this year and it's just not my taste anymore. So I want to pass it off to someone who will appreciate it a lot more than I will. Next is a beanie that says bite me on it. This came from the Vampire Fairy Loot Box. Next is a lanyard. And I believe that this was inspired by the selection but it says bravery hides in amazing places and it's got little plants on it, very cute. Next are some drinks. We've got Scaramel Corn and Sea Witch Earl Grey and Hazelnut Spice. I think this one's coffee and this one's tea if I remember correctly. Next is this Nine Tails Fox coaster which is inspired by the Wicked Fox, I believe. Next is this coaster and it could go on my shelf with six of crows but i just have no need for it but it is pekka from the six of crow series then we have this book sleeve it's very silky very thin the picture on it is very very gorgeous i don't know if these are like specific characters but i love the print it's just too thin for my taste next is this like palm reading sticker it says, once upon a time, an angel and a devil fell in love. It did not end well. Next is this tin. It says, you have me and live a life worth dying for. I believe this is like a book tin inspired by Illuminae files. Then we have the book on CD, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Then just these little clothes pins with really cute little designs on them that I have no use for, but they're super cute. Then we have this locket, this Slytherin locket. It's that Barnes and Noble collection one, I think. Then this is very exciting. I did receive a second copy of Vicious signed by V.E. Schwab. So someone will be receiving that. And I haven't decided yet, just based on that, I have like a few like box ideas in my mind. So I don't know if I should like create boxes and then have do a giveaway of those or if I should have a make your own box kind of thing. So kind of up in the air about that. Next I have this ex exclusive sampler of The Furies by Katie Lowe. Not really sure what this is, but it's in here. Next are the Narnia inspired bookends. So they're just like a forest with the lamp post. I don't know if you can see that and then stars like all around it. Let's see if we can. And since I was already holding this up, I also have Sorcery for Beginners up for grabs. And this is by Matt Harry, but it comes with a book plate and a Codex of the Arcanum bookmark. Then I have this Sunai candle and it smells like green apple and this is inspired by this savage song by V.E. Schwab and of course it's August. Then I have a Thomas Cresswell inspired candle and this one smells like chocolate coffee. Then I've got some random pins. We've got Disney, Goofy, Minnie, Chippendale, and then a key. Then I have a pencil pin i guess and this says i am so alive the ocean will not shift me and the cold will not take me by maggie stiefvater then another art card this one is just some vampire ladies next i have this little three dark crowns crown necklace then a diagon alley necklace bring gods with the dragon up on top then i have this little heart necklace and it comes with a button that says I burn I pine which is from 10 things I hate about you 
Next is a bookmark. It's one of the Zodiac collection, I believe. I don't know who this is. I think that's Capricorn. I don't know Zodiac signs, but it is a Zodiac sign bookmark. Next, we have a Bella and Edward crisp apple pine and cedar wood twilight inspired candle and I almost didn't get rid of this one because it smells so good, but I just have so many things already. I don't need it and someone will love this way more than I ever could. Then this one is My Last Sunrise, Blood Orange, Damascus Rose, and Cashmere Musk, but again, I don't need it. <laughs> Next, I have this Gothic Vampire Coaster set and it's just like a rose, a goblet, a bat and a dagger I believe the last one is yeah next is this magnetic bookmark set of characters from the flame in the mist and the wrath and the dawn next is a hard copy fairy loot edition of wicked fox by Cat Cho I actually own this I got a second one because I should warn you this one is tinily damaged it has a small rip on the very front page between the hardcover and the autograph page there is a small rip down at the bottom so I did want to let you guys know that but it is signed so that's pretty cool and it's got sprayed edges and I don't think it had yeah there's nothing on the naked cover but it is really beautiful next is Stardust by Neil Gaiman and again I like it just have no use for it at this point Next is this really cool mug. It's a Nevernight ceramic travel mug, and I'm not gonna pull it out, but um, it's designed by Katarina Book Designs, and it's really pretty. Next is a wood mark that says, when the snows fall and the white winds blow, the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. And I think this is inspired by Game of Thrones, I forget. Next is a Lunar Chronicles, I believe, inspired necklace. It's a crescent moon with like gadgety looking stuff inside. It's pretty, but it's not my style. Next is a Lucius Malfoy squishy kind of thing. I have been collecting these, but I really don't like the Lucius one, so someone else can have it. And then we have a Fleur Mini Funko because I did receive two of these and I don't need two. Next is this Three Dark Crowns inspired sticker. Again, I have two of these and I don't need two. It's a little bent it looks like, but it says I want revenge and then I want my crown. Very, very gorgeous. Next is The Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr, which tells the story of some girl who was chosen by the fairy king to be part of fairy land or something like that. And it was pretty good. Not my favorite, but I thought someone else might like it. And this is First Love by James Patterson, and I was really enjoying this in the beginning, and then it turned into a cancer story, and I was sad again. I received these in a Goodreads giveaway that I didn't even know I had entered, but it's The Chronicle of Ideas, A Guide for Superheroines, and then Danielle Chronicles of a Superheroine. I didn't even know I entered this, and I have no interest in reading it, so someone can have the whole set if they want. Next is this Ghostbusters iron-on patch. I love it. I would put it with Stranger Things stuff, but I thought someone else might like it for a patch better than I can use it for decoration. Next is The Haunting of Hill House. While I did enjoy this a little bit, it's not my favorite. I'm not a huge scary story person, so someone else can have it again. <laughs> Next, I have two notebooks. One is inspired by Girls of Paper and Fire, and the other is inspired by children of virtue and vengeance next i have scrappy little nobody by anna kendrick and yeah it's pretty much the same thing i've been saying about everything else then i just have a ton of like book sleeve fairy loot bookish box lit joy crate of these things and yeah i don't need them next i have two random like cardboard coasters one is camp half blood inspired and one is I don't know inspired it says I'm a monster I'm more than human and then I have a vicious inspired pop socket so I'm thinking like vicious the pop socket um, the Sunai candle maybe some vampire stuff all in a box I don't know do you think that would be good maybe the Nevernight 
anything. I don't know. I think it would be good. Speaking of travel mugs, I also have this one inspired by Shatter Me. I also have this really cute little, I think Lord of the Rings inspired pocket mirror. So here's the mirror. Then some random Disney things. And then I have this Darkling inspired tote bag. So it's got the Darkling on one side. And then it says, the problem with wanting is that it makes you weak. Oh, and then all the vicious stuff could go in this bag. I was thinking it's like skulls and bats and daggers and poison and yeah, I think it would work. And then the second to last item is this really cute witch tote bag. And then the last item is the Institute ceramic mug. So this is a ceramic mug inspired by the Shadow Hunter series, I believe. And apparently this is like the whole cast or something. I don't know. I've never read the Shadow Hunter series. And I hope somebody else enjoys this because I really love the Karakosic Harry Potter one. So I hope someone loves this one. And honestly, I'll probably add more to this as I continue going through things. So that is my own haul for now. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you would want the most out of all of these things. And also let me know what I should do for my giveaway. Whether I should do a like pre-designed boxes or make your own boxes. Yeah, let me know. So the last thing before I go is of course my Harry Potter advent calendar and today is the 22nd so let's find out who I got. Here we go. So we got Ron again I think in his like dress down outfit. I think. I don't know, I wasn't expecting two of Ron, so maybe Hermione's in here and then maybe a second Harry is the last one. Yeah, I don't know. But that was all for today, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will check in with you tomorrow.